We weren't short on sunshine, Blake Matthews. Well, don't forget my gift. That's all I care about. So, <laughs> so you take a look here at the forecast. Temperature is nice and balmy out there this evening. 77 degrees here in Dallas. To put that in perspective, that should be our average daytime high temperature for this time of year and not a temperature at 10 o'clock at night. 76 degrees there in Fort Worth, 78 in Granbury. The bottom line is very, very warm weather continues here over the next couple of days. It was also breezy out there, and the winds continue from the, on the breezy side from the south. 17, 18, 16 miles an hour. Take your pick, and I think the winds get even gustier as we head into your Sunday. Satellite and radar, not a whole lot to show you here locally. In fact, things nice and dry out there, although we are picking up some heavy rain there near the Houston area, pushing off into the parishes of southwest Louisiana. Nationwide, Wide, not too much going on. A little rain pushing out there across northern portions of Missouri, also out in the northern Rockies. But one thing I really want to point out here, this has really been the talk of the town here on social media, is the bomb cyclone. And you can see, if you look carefully, almost an eye-like feature here trying to form within this cold core area of low pressure. And to put this in perspective, the stronger a storm gets, the lower the pressure gets. And we're talking about forecast models showing a pressure down to 943 millibars. Put that in perspective, that is a Category 4 hurricane equivalent, so a very strong area of low pressure, kicking up seas out here upwards of 50 feet high. Imagine that. That's incredible. Speaking of strong storms, here's another one. This one on its way to becoming a major hurricane, Hurricane Rick. And this affects our forecast in a certain way because it's going to cross over Mexico and it's going to supply the moisture needed to wring out some showers and thunderstorms as a strong cold front begins to work its way into North Texas. And that's going to supply us with some showers and thunderstorms again heading into Tuesday and into early part of Wednesday. In fact, 5 a.m., you see the front working its way into North Texas. Showers and thunderstorms expected at about 60%. So we could see a wet commute there as we get ready to kick off your hump day. And then as we get into the afternoon hours, all of that exit stage right. But one thing that's now beginning to show up in the models is maybe a little bit of wraparound moisture. And we may actually have to include a rain chance as we head into Thursday, something we will continue to monitor over the course of the next 24 hours. In the meantime, high temperatures up near 90 through Tuesday. And you guys, as we head into the end of the week, I'm going to be everybody's best friend with high temperatures in the low 70s. <laughs>